Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Reading from Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest, until our vindication shines out like the dawn, and its salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication, and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name at the mouth of the Lord will give you. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be turned forsaken, and your land shall no more be turned desolate. But you shall be called by the light of his infinite, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a young woman, so shall your builder marry you, and as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing the first canticle together. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Glory to God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. spiritual gifts, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were enticed and led astray to idols that could not speak. Therefore, I want you to understand that no, speak, that no one speaking by the Spirit of God ever says, let Jesus be cursed. And no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are there. Varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit and the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another one the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, to another gift healing Christ from the one spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another the discernment of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same spirit who allows to each one individually, just as the spirit chooses. Hear what the spirit is saying to God's people. Thank you, the third reading is from John. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. 
Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the servant, steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have all become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Saying the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. The Lord of the Day rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Holy Catholic Church, the community of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of God, and the life everlasting. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please give your neighbors a sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, everybody online. Please be seated for the announcements. Uh, we will be collecting children's hats, gloves, and scarves through January. They can be left in the basket in the narthex, which, for those of you who may not know, that's the little room in the front of the church. Uh, the flowers today are for Elizabeth D. Ferrari by Paul Schumann. We have Barbara on the prayer list. Um, and the prayer list, just as a reminder, when somebody goes on, we're keeping the person on the prayer list for... Like a month. The month. 30 days to the end of the month. About a month. We're keeping them on for about a month, so that this way... Come December, we don't have a prayer list a mile long, and you know, hopefully, all of those people have received our prayers. So you'll all be getting those of you who donate will get statements in the mail, or unless I handed them to you, um, if you start pledges, if you need a state financial statement, you can either ask us. You don't get one by mail, um, or you can check the member portal because you can print one out at any time from the member portal. And we'll also start sending these out quarterly as well. And Shannon, if somebody wants to get a digital copy of that instead of the printed copy, they can go to the member portal? Member portal. They go to the member portal. Which okay. is in our e the bottom of the email. It's in the bottom of the email that we send out weekly. Got it. Are there any other announcements? Let us with gladness present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor to the Lord. Things come of thee, O Lord. Let thy own have we given thee. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, may we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving power from all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, grant that your people, illuminated by your word and sacraments, may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. stand. Saying the general thanksgiving together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love, the redemption of the world, by our Lord Jesus Christ, with the means of grace and of hope and glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that we truly thank our hearts, and we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you. In holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
in the womb with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory for all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.